guys, it's Martina, and I have a new monthly plan with me. This is a look back at how July has been filling out, and I love it. It's very patriotic to me. I like the light blue mixed in with the navy and the red. I think it all looks very pretty, and I just really enjoy the way that it looks. I think it is a little overwhelming, like up at top, where there's a lot of decoration, but it's okay. I kind of like it. On to this month. This month is August, and August is not a month where I was excited for the colors. They're just not my favorite. Green's not my favorite color. Yellow is definitely not my favorite color, and I just, I don't like them, but I did decide to just embrace them and go all out with the green and yellow. I am going to throw in another accent-y kind of color, and that is going to be a blue. So I, if you noticed from my other spreads throughout the year, I don't use kits for my monthly spread just because I don't feel like it's necessary for me and my planning for the month. So I just don't do it. I like to use washi tape and I like to make my own stickers. My stickers that I made, I did make to match the monthly colors. They're bright greens and yellows and I think they're really fun and bright. I did have somebody ask me for the dimensions for all the squares in the monthly spread and I didn't have a chance to answer them but honestly they're just 1.6 inches wide and then however tall you want to make it. And if you guys want to see how I make my monthly stickers I can do that too. But again, it's just using Word, Microsoft Word, and putting them into tables. That's basically all I do. <laughs> um, if you want to see me do it, I can, but it's going to be a short and sweet video. So let me know if you guys want to see it. This is what I am going to be using. And along with that, I decided to use this really pretty washi tape. It's very florally and it just has that green and yellow, but it also has some blue in it, and I think it's really pretty. So I'm excited to kind of do that. This will be my last florally month, I think. So I'm a little sad about that, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to get started here. I'm going to do my normal washi taping. I am going to washi tape up here along the August section. Oh, I do want to say I do cover up the month up here. Just because I don't find it necessary for myself, it is on the tab on the side here, so I don't find it necessary to have it listed up at the top here, but that's just my personal preference. So I am going to cover that up as well as this goal section over here, and I think I might cover up the extra days of the month as well. So the 31st from July and the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd from September. I'm going to cover those up as well and then be right back. Okay, so there is all of my washi tape down, and I, oops, I love the color scheme. I think it's really pretty, and I like adding in just a little bit of that blue, and it kind of brings it back to my colors that I kind of like. Plus, I added in a little bit of glitter, which I love glitter, so had to add that in there. Now I can go and do my sidebar. I'm going to turn my planner to the side and on my sidebar I like to do the same things almost pretty much every month. So up at the top I am going to put my monthly subscriptions tracker. This tracks the different subscriptions I get throughout the month. Things like Birchbox and Ipsy. I have like Netflix and Hulu and Audible and my gym membership. Things that happen monthly I like to put on here just so I know when it came out of my bank account. 
Also down towards the bottom, I'm going to put my things that I like to track uh, for the month for my YouTube channel. So I like to know how many views I started the month with and how many I am ending the month with. Just to, I just think it's fun to see where my channel is and how it is growing. Oh, I messed up. Hold on. Okay, this doesn't go at the very bottom. Before I put that down, I am going to put a weight tracker down. I am not necessarily doing everything in my power to lose weight. However, um, I do have a few videos here from last summer that kind of talk about my weight loss journey and my weight issues and things like that. If you want to check those out. Um, but I like to just see how I'm doing. I have done a few things this past month like a step bet and I got a Fitbit and things like that just to kind of keep track of steps and just being healthier in general. So I like to track my weight at the beginning and end of the month. And then back up above that, I'm putting my YouTube stuff. So I do views as well as subscriber count. Then in that empty section in between the two, I'm going to put down my monthly goals, which is what this section normally is labeled as. But I I'm only going to do four for this month, and I'm not sure what exactly they're going to be quite yet. I usually have a goal for how many books I'm going to read in the month, as well as how many steps I want to uh, try and reach each day, things like that, but I'm not sure what they're going to be yet. I haven't decided, so I can't quite fill that in, but there is that, and now on to, let's just go day by day now. So the first thing I'm going to go through and put down are some play button type things. I like to keep track of what videos are going up when on my YouTube channel. And I know for certain that on Mondays are my plan with me videos. So I'm going to go through and put these down on Mondays. And then the only other play button I'm going to put down right now is going to be on the 31st. That is going to be when my September monthly plan with me goes up. Like that. There we go. I do like to keep track of my YouTube videos. I like to keep track of how many are going up throughout the month as well as things like my bills and payday. So next I'm going to go through and put those down. I have them just right here. I just am going to cut them into flags and put them on the dates that they're due or when they actually happen. There is all of that and now I can think now I think I can go through and start doing things that are going to be happening so along with my YouTube videos paydays and bills that I have due, I like to do big events or things that I want to remember for this month so I'm going to get started with that on the first I want to start doing a C to 5k training thing. <laughs> it's an app I have on my phone that is a couch to a 5k in like eight weeks training thing that I want to start doing on the first. So I just made a sticker for that. I'm going to stick that right here. And then I also pulled out my little running shoe icons from Mila's Print Shop, and I'm going to use one of these. Let's do it in blue and stick that here. That's cute. Then on the second, I am going to go see Bad Moms in the movie theater. And so I pulled out my movie marquees from Mila's Print Shop. I'm just going to stick this down here at the bottom. That. Then on the 5th, there is the opening ceremonies for this year's Olympics. And so I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do another movie marquee. And I think I'll do a blue one this time. On the 6th, I'm going shopping with some of my friends. My One of my best friends is getting married. And we are going shopping for things for her bridal shower. 
So I'm just going to take a blank yellow box and stick that up here towards the top of the sixth. And then I have my shopping bags from Scribble Prints Co. And I'm gonna use one of these. Let's use a blue one. On the 11th, I am leaving once again to drive to New York. I think May was the last time we went. Yeah, um, back in May we went and we're going again this month and we're leaving the 11th and we'll be back the 15th. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this blue diagonal striped washi that I used over here on the side and just draw straight across all of that those days. So we'll do the 11th, 12th, 13th, the 14th, and the 15th. And then I do have a couple stickers that I made. So one says drive to painted post and then one that says drive back home which is going on the 15th. There we go. And I pulled out my cars from Mila's print shop. So I'm going to put those on there. And there we go. I know one of the things we're going to do is we're actually going to try and go to New York City that week, that weekend, but I'm not, I'm not sure which day we're going to go, so I'm not going to put it down yet. I did make the sticker for it, but I'm not going to put it down yet. Also, I have a work meeting every month, but I'm not sure which day of the week it's going, or which day of the month it's going to be on for this month, so I'm going to skip that as well. But back to the 11th. The 11th is my grandma's birthday. So I made a little sticker for that. I'm going to stick that on here right underneath my build do. And I pulled out my gift boxes from Mila's print shop. And I think we'll use a blue one. My current step bet that I'm doing is ending on the 7th I believe. So I am going to take two weeks off just because I do have this vacation. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get my steps in like I would want to because I'll be driving in a car two days for 10 hours a day and that's just not conducive to a step bet. So I'm going to wait for a while until I get back home and I'm going to start a new one on the 22nd. So I have a sticker that says start new step bet. Put it there and then use one of my little tennis shoes. And I'm just going to switch up the shop that I'm getting it from this time. This time I'm using one from Planner Kate. Just because this would be a little bit bigger of a section than the one I used up here. And these are just slightly bigger. Um, so I'm going to use one of these ones instead. And the last thing I have for this month is on the 27th is my friend's bridal shower. So I have that sticker here and we'll put this like more towards the bottom because I will need to set up and stuff like that. And then I pulled out my balloons. These are from Two Crafty Chicks and I really need to get some new ones because I'm running kind of low. But I'm going to use these to kind of decorate this section here like that so there we go there are a couple of things that i don't have on here just because i'm not sure when they're happening even though they do happen every month one is a work meeting one is book club and we are going to see a movie on the second so that might take over for this month's book club but we'll see i don't know what we'll decide but for right now that's going to be it for this plan with me i love how bright this is i feel like this is more summery than my July was, which I I really love the way that it's looking right now. It's so pretty. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you guys decorated your monthly spread. I want to know if you guys use a kit or do you do your own thing? What do you guys use? Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe if you are new. I am so close to 1,500 subscribers, and as soon as I get there, I want to do a giveaway. So click subscribe if you are not already and I will talk to you guys real soon. Bye!